What's up guys? We're going into Creeping Malice Extreme for a budget clear with a friend, strong friend carry. Uh, we are looking for pretty much any global uh, Neovision damage dealer that was released within the past like six months. So, well, anyone with like bolting strike frames and EN LB chain frames. So, we'll grab a Wilk, um, let's see how well they're geared. They do have to have, you know, some decent gearing to do this. Um, so it's an Aquan Demon, weak to lightning. So he has 100 Aquan, 200 Demon, so we'll give him a try. Uh, let's see. He's geared, right? Yeah, so... Okay, well, we'll give this guy a shot. Um, so, our team is all five-star base or lower, um, either free units or hopefully cheap or, and accessible units. Um, so, Sylvie is here to deal with, well, just to back up. The boss does uh, water, ice, and dark imperils. Um, some single target physical, AoE magic, water, dark, and ice, uh, status ailments, uh, stale status ailment resistance reductions. So, um, to, I want to say paralyze and confuse. So Sylvia is here is our passive provoke evader. She has, yeah, just full evasion, full provoke. Um, put Calming Garb on her for preemptive uh, stack of Mirage. I think the boss does an accuracy attack on turn one, single target. And I gave her some Guts in case our magic cover tank doesn't cover in time. So, Lucid Lenses and Urba's Boon and some HP regen from Phoenix Energy. So, there's her gearing. And just to point it out, all like I've this is in my oldest Sylvie. Uh, all her skills are upgraded. So there's that. Uh, Gilgamesh, he's gonna be in the shift form the whole fight, starting in shift, staying in shift. He has Riku's pouch for Panacea. There's a chance your provoker will be paralyzed on turn two, so he's here to heal that and ribbon for status immunity and his STMR just out of habit um, and just MP percent up just so he doesn't run out of mana. Biggs and Wedge, um, just any magic cover tank with preemptive cover, <clears throat> uh, just 180 percent to ice, water, and dark. Hopefully that's somewhat accessible. Um, this is all either seven star STMRs or um, actually, I think this is a TMR anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Or event gear. And he's got a couple open slots still. But he is on uh, an Esper with some resistances to those, to Ice and Dark. You could do Anima for Water and Dark Resist. Just mix and match however you need. Uh, three star Shira, just as an entruster over to the friend. Um, he's got full LB fill. At three stars, his LB is only a thousand cost. If you go above three star, then it's, I think, like 1400 maybe. So, which you couldn't fill every turn unless you had Pause of Prosperity and some bulk. There's a fixed attack on turn four. So, uh, Alina, we tried to deal her for damage. The boss has mag magic mitigation. Um, so, we kind of tried to lean into the attack side a little more. So,. And she has either Eye of the Dragon or, um, what's the other one? That was from Wilkes' event. Um, just anything with EN chain frames on it. Uh, you could do Lightning Fast Legend. If you, if you have Hyo's card, you could put that on her. That gives EN frames. But if you have Hyo's card, um, you probably have Chizuru and you're probably not struggling with this fight. So, I think these are a little more accessible. Her, 
Her own LB is Ian frames. That could chain with your uh, friend. But trying to fill the friend and her every turn just is uh, not with, with this party. It's not doable. I mean, you can maybe do it, but anyway, we'll get into it. So there's a preemptive berserk on a random target. So Sylvie got berserk. So turn one, since anyone can be berserk, we're just gonna guard everyone else that's not berserked and just really start from turn two. Okay. There's Biggs and Wedge covering for us. So yeah, our Sylvie got paralyzed, so Gilgamesh is going to take care of that with Panacea from Riku's Pouch. Sylvie is going to put up uh, Ailment Resistance with Spring Cleaning and then Marry and Watch Over Me for to unlock her triple cast. Uh, the friend can just power up however, you know, whatever unit you get, they can power up however. I know... Uh, an EX1 one Wilk wouldn't work for this. Um, what does this do anyway? It's an axe resistance. So whether you have... Well, whoever you have. I mean, whether it's Kaito or Chizuru or Esther or Wilk. I mean, I think most of them have a weapon in peril available on turn one. So we'll do that. Lena is going to Sword in Peril. Shira is going to entrust over to Wilk. And Biggs and Wedge can just put up cover. Okay. So we don't have the big imperils yet. I think it happens on this turn. So Sylvie is going to imbue thunder, give us element resistance, and then oops. <coughs> excuse me. Um yeah, we'll just refresh element resistance. Actually, no, we will thunder imbue, element resist. And then bigger attack buff over to the friend. And we'll go ahead and just LB the friend and LB Alina. Or not LB. Claw of the Dragon with Alina. Whatever you friends you have. Uh, first we need a break with Gilgamesh. So. Yeah, it is breakable to everything. Uh, Biggs and Wedge can just cover again. So we'll send the chainers. Then entrust to the friend again. Okay. So we are going to take fixed damage this turn. So Sylvie is just going to refresh ailment resistance, um, put up a barrier, and just refresh the lightning in view. We'll just send these two again. So once Wilkes LB is stacked up all the way, we will give him a bigger amp and LB damage buff. Well, give him a bigger lightning amp from Sylvie. But yeah, two times, so the next LB he does will be full stack. Okay, so Gilgamesh can just break again. Biggs and Wedge this turn are going to put up cover and then give me a bit more time for general mitigation. This is a fixed attack turn. And Shear is just going to entrust over to the friend again.
Okay. So we'll just go ahead and reload our chainers. This turn, we are going to go ahead and let's see how many turns of triple cast do we have unlocked with Sylvie still? Uh, two more turns. So we don't need to refresh that. We'll just do ailments, elements, and just a bigger amplify over to Wilk. I guess we could have entrusted to Alina last turn. Actually, we'll do that this turn. We'll entrust Alina and just do her LB. So it'll be Sylvie. And send the chainers. Okay. So we have two turns to do 35% damage. I think we'll be fine. We'll just cover again with Biggs and Wedge. And break again with Gilgamesh. Okay. So we can this turn, I guess... Uh, Let's see, do a buff, I suppose, and some healing. Um, what else do we need from her? Lightning imbue, and just keep her triple cast unlocked. She is gonna entrust over to Wilk. And we'll just chain these two. The boss doesn't have anything wonky going on, does he? No. Okay. Although I'm guessing our weapon imperils either have worn out, worn off, or are about to. Let's see. Oh no, two more turns for both of those. Okay, looking good. So we'll just break again with Gilgamesh and just guard Biggs and Wedge. Okay, and we should be good to kill. So we'll just entrust with Shira. I'll be with Wilk. And just chain with Alina. And that should be the fight. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously if you have your own stronger units, bring them. But hopefully this just showcased how to deal with the fight more than anything. So yeah, I mean, offhand, other than, you know, the NV, Sylvie, I can't think of any other units to kind of cover everything we need um, without, you know, splitting those skills up. I mean, Sylvie really is, even 7 Star is just a one-stop shop for a lot of stuff. So yeah, I mean, just to go back over the missions. I mean, that was no items, no KOs, and within seven turns. So, anyway, hope this helped if you're struggling with it. But thanks for watching. Catch you later.